Nate Still and Ziggory, digital marketing specialist here at Kiwi Creative, back today with another installment of our Seeds of Knowledge series on my latest blog post, how GA4 will let tech companies collect data without cookies. So let's start our discussion by talking about the current data tracking landscape with cookies. As we enter this world where users are increasingly privacy conscious and we have legislation and regulations coming down about how cookie tracking can be used and how companies must protect and utilize user data, we're kind of in this either or scenario for marketers. Either a user consents to cookies and marketers get access to all the information about their activity on their websites through GA, or users do not consent to cookies and marketers get no data. There's really no in between, which results in data holes and gaps and really a pared down glimpse into how users are actually acting on your website. Because let's be honest, if we personally are presented with the option to accept or deny cookies, do we ever really click accept or are we gonna just click deny intuitively because that's the world we live in? So GA4 with consent mode aims to remedy this problem by implementing what's known as data modeling with consent mode in GA4. So GA4 uses data modeling to basically take the group of users who do not consent to cookie tracking and send cookie-less pings to GA4 servers. So collecting information that doesn't require use of cookies and is not personally identifiable to those individual users. Those pings and signals are sent to GA4 servers, and then it compares the traits of that cohort of users with the cohort of users that does consent to cookie tracking and uses that information to model the missing data. So it's not 100% what those users who did not consent to cookie tracking, what they are exactly doing, but it is some model data, and some data is better than no data, which is where we are now. Now, consent mode and data modeling as a whole is still in beta, and there are prerequisites that websites need to meet in order to use it, and some of them are pretty steep, so we'll have to see if Google brings that down as we near the official launch of GA4 next year. First, and most obviously, companies need to have GA4 consent mode enabled on their website. Now this is done through Google Tag Manager and it varies based on whatever cookie management platform companies use. So make sure to look at your CMP's documentation to see how you implement Google Tag Manager consent mode. Second, companies need to have 1,000 daily events minimum. Now remember GA4 is event-based tracking versus session-based tracking in UA. So companies need to have a minimum of 1,000 events recorded daily from users who do not accept cookies for at least seven days. And then companies also need to have a minimum of 1,000 daily users each day for a minimum of seven out of the last 28 days. So these, like I said, these marks are a little high. And so for smaller companies, it's not possible yet to use consent modeling, but because it's still in beta, we'll have to see if Google fine tunes its models and requires less of a data set to train them so that more companies can use the feature and model some of the missing data. In regards to modeling data, they have not released how their methodology and formulas and all that stuff works with GA4, but they have released information about how it works with Google Ads. So the chart that they provide about conversion modeling in Google Ads does provide a little bit of a glimpse into how it could work in GA4. As you can see here, Google Ads recorded clicks and those clicks came from both users who consented to cookies and users who did not consent to cookies. And based on the information provided from users who did consent to cookies, Google Ads was able to model those missing conversions and then break down the conversion rate Without consent mode, it would be 5%. With consent mode, so more accurate, it would be 5.9% and the conversion uplift. So just like I said before, it's not 100% data that comes from users who do not consent, but it is some of the data. And in the world we live in where users are becoming more privacy conscious, some data we're able to get to provide a more holistic picture of our website is better than no data at all. Read the blog below for more information about GA4 data modeling with consent mode 
and be sure to switch over to GA4 ahead of next year's switch and sunset of UA on July 1st, 2023.